Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Airships Conquer the Skies episode number 4. Unfortunately I haven't posted the previous video so I can't hear your comments yet, your feedback on the, the design that I made, the bomber. Let's go to ship design. Um, so I made this la at the end of the last episode, I was looking at it. I, I don't see too much that um, I would say is like wrong with it or things I absolutely would want to improve. Um, one thing I was trying to figure out a way to do is maybe make the bombs all close together. Right now the ladder goes down in between them, but this puts them a little bit further apart. The reason why I was thinking about maybe putting the ladder on the right and bringing the, um, basically this would allow the bombs to be closer together, which means yeah, if I was closer to the ground, all four, you know, basically if this line drops down here versus here, then I can hit, um, they're, they're all dropping together. It's like opening a bomb bay and dropping them all here, whereas right now I have some dropping from the tail, some dropping from the nose. I'm not actually moving, so the ones that drop from the nose might not hit the same target as the ones that drop from the tail, and if the target is small enough, maybe I just can't drop a bomb from my rear on the target that is uh, being engaged by the front. Anyway, that's long-winded, probably, probably not the realistic situation considering this thing is going to be so high in the sky. but. I do want to make as well a um, a double A airship, as I'm calling them, uh, a fighter of some of some sort, not just a bomber, which is basically what I've been making. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and do it. And no, I want an ammo store. I want uh, a fire point somewhere. This thing is going to try to survive a bit. I'm going to use some cannons bunch of them but we'll just put one down for now. I'm gonna need a rifle, I'm gonna need supply hatch, I'm gonna use a suspendium chamber and I'm gonna need coal because of that and eventually I want this to be under propulsion but unfortunately we're still building propulsion so that's not uh, possible quite yet and I'm gonna want some fire doors, some definitely some corridors with ladders um, a cockpit, no, a bridge, crew's net, uh, crew quarters, gonna need a couple of those, want a crow's nest eventually, uh, just gonna dump all the pieces, like basically dumping your pile of Legos out onto the ground, and we can figure out where we need things to go from there. I could add another small suspendium chamber, although this is, uh, mostly just needs to be high enough to be able to shoot down other stuff, it doesn't mean high enough to drop stuff on other targets. And there is a difference. So, small coal store, small ammo store. Because thinking about a repair bay, but I don't think so. I'm going to try to make these things not as much behemoth, ultra, uber death things, as much as I want to make them inexpensive. So, what did I want? I think that might be all the. Oh, no, I, I know. I want to go with a keel as well. But let's leave the keel to last and see what we have available for us. Uh, in terms of service ceiling available, etc. Now, explosive damage is the main thing I want to look at. What happens if this ammo store explodes right now? It only does 28% damage to the coal. Eh, you know what? I'm okay with that. We definitely don't want to lose our coal because we lose everything from that. But what about the fire point? Fire point, 81%. A little bit less good. But I had in my, in my mind something like this. Like three or four... And then a, a rifle. We're going to have to figure out where this stuff exactly is going to go later. Uh, this will go down here. We're going to need propulsion. That's right. So we'll just put a sail at the end for now, in the middle. I'm expecting that this is actually going to be my design. Something like this. Now we can put fire doors. That's the thing I forgot. Did I? Did I forget my fire doors? I did my fire doors here because they won't blow up as easily as those corridors with ladders. Um, hmm. Not sure how I want to navigate this. So I'm probably going to want two quarters. Let's, yeah, okay, those are the two I want. The bridge, let's move it. Let's move this to the right. Left, I mean, a little bit. Try to figure out where this stuff is going to go. So it looks like I need like a central corridor. We don't need, uh, we could use corridor with ladder after this, but they need to get their ammo basically. And the 
Rifle should be at the top because it's the furthest away and it also needs to reload the least. But we still will need a corridor with ladder somewhere to get to our final thing, but what about this? See, that seems to work. Crow's nest. A little bizarre, what if we put this here instead? Uh, we're gonna need two. Damn. Well, it's... Weird. What? Wait. No. Why don't I just put them here? Ah, well, that's a little bit bad. This bridge is very awkwardly placed. <laughs> we can do it this way. And then we need a fire door right there. Okay, so how are we doing here? We, we actually, wow, on the first go we built something which works, or potentially works. Now we have 100 ammo for our cannons. This might be an effective design. The rifle might use too much ammo. I wonder if you can turn on and turn off different things. So we have 107 meter service ceiling. That's not terrible. It's not great, but maintenance is 16. It's basically always my maintenance because that's the cost of my run one crew quarters, costing eight maintenance. Uh, and I don't know what the other things are that cost maintenance. Suspendium chamber, nope. What other things cost maintenance? The guns? Oh, I have two crew quarters, which both cost eight. Well, there it is. there you have it. It's so simple. Maintenance is only for people. That keeps things nice and simple. Anyway, we can do a command every three seconds, which is very important with this thing. It's going to need to pivot constantly to face the enemy. Um, it has enough coal 50 times, or 50 divided by three is, I don't know, a, tw a lot of, uh, many minutes of battle it can be in the air. Not quite 20, but more than 15. So it, it'll be in the air for a while. That's not not an issue. We'll run out of ammo way before we get to that point. Um, it has enough water to put out some fires, which is good. I, I think that that's important. It cannot make its own repairs, unfortunately. For armor, I think the same thing will hold true. This thing can get blasted, but I think we'll stick with the piercing defense. Slightly heavier. We don't need the service ceiling, so um, I think that you can make a case for making our bombardier. Oh, I didn't I didn't talk about that. So let's save this as the cannoneer. I I know people are wondering where do I get the where are these where do I get these names? They're so creative. Uh, let's open the bombardier real fast. You can see the price though, eight ninety five for what we just built, six ninety six eighty four, much cheaper for this bombardier. Although it's not going to be very effective against. Um, other air targets. Did we really include a rifle here? I'm not sure if we wanted to. It's going to waste ammunition. Yes, yeah, so this is every six seconds. Well, four... Uh, this is currently 25 rounds. If we aren't shooting the rifle, it's probably only 20 bombs each. That's 80 bombs if we are shooting the rifle. I don't know. I'd almost rather take the rifle out, but let's experiment with it both ways. What's the difference? It's, it's very cheap. The real question is just whether, whether it's going to make a difference in terms of the total ammunition I have. I think for... I've done um, a 6 bomb variant, and that did run out of, run out of ammunition pretty quickly, especially because they decreased the um, accuracy of bombers recently. I think this one's going to be okay. Okay, so anyways, I was discussing with myself, as I am like to do, uh, what kind of armor I wanted to use in this, and I was, at the end of the episode, I was, oh, I forgot to fill it in with steel armor, and I've been doing this a lot, but I forgot that there's been a patch. Steel armor used to just be, I mean, steel wall used to be just 100% better. But now wooden armor is uh, slightly better in terms of piercing damage absorption. It's 4 versus 3 for steel. Now steel has 5 blast damage versus only 2 prevention of blast damage from wooden armor. The other thing is, Steel Wall has 27 hit points, Wooden has 35, so more hit points. So, from a hit points standpoint, we're doing okay. I mean, yeah, some of these are a little bit low, but mind you, 126, but that's three tiles, so it's effectively uh, 42 per tile over there. Uh, 294, but how big is that? Six, I think, so it's slightly more than 40 per tile. Some, almost 50. Um... 
Yeah, so anyways, this red one, I mean, this is what it's telling you, by the way, this, this number is exact, this color, I should say, is exactly showing you how good, why is one of these more than the other? Is it closer to the keel? I think that's what they're saying it is. Weird. 6036. Okay, now we have 603. Alright, there. Well, well, this is the new design because now it's evenly balanced, 600 a piece, which I think is better. So yeah, um, the color it's showing you is just how. What's the hit points per tile of that item? We'll save this new design. Luckily, we haven't built one yet. Okay, so what what was I looking at on the other one is just the armor situation and with the bombardier. I think it's fine to stick with steel if we wanted, even though the reason why I'm going to stick with wooden is because the weight, I mean not the weight, sorry, the piercing damage. This thing is going to be high enough in the sky, it absolutely will not, will not take any blasting damage. I just can't imagine anything doing blasting damage. I don't know, flat guns, they might do flat um, damage, but then we can change the armor in the future. We can retrofit it. But then for now, it's going to be rifle fire. What's uh, good against, against stopping rifle fire? For some odd reason, wood is better than steel at stopping it. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just the game design. So, um, that's why we'll leave that, but let's go ahead and build my first cannoneer. Get him built. What an ugly son of a gun. Now with this one, do we want wooden? Because this one could actually... You could make a case for steel armor. I think I'm going to leave wooden just because I like the higher hit points. Okay, here we go. So we actually have a few things which are about to happen. It has been a battle, a real slog, about, you know, jumping back and forth. And like, if I rest for a moment, we are gonna lose so much money. So let's just keep aggressive. Um, I hope I can stay aggressive. We still have these grenadiers. Oh, making the money. Okay, units in the fog are harder to hit, therefore we're gonna have to be in the fog. Not my favorite story to see us that we need to go in the fog, but there it is. All right, we're in the fog. Do your work. And this is wood. Not the ideal building structure. I have to just let them know. Yeah. I don't know how it's modeled, but weren't wood. I mean, obviously, should burn more easily than steel, which really simply should not catch on fire at all. There goes. There she blows. I've been uh, trying to jiggle with the desktop audio, the, basically the game volume. I think it's at a better level now. Might be a little bit too loud still. I'm gonna just lower it down by one more smidge. Maybe not even noticeable. Okay, victory. We'll pillage and pause and pretend to invade that, but actually, wait, no, just, they don't have any people. Just go invade their stuff directly. You are on your way to do what? Why don't you just invade this? No, nope, because that's a city. Aha, that's why you're going up here. Okay, good. Now, the new thing I'm building is not going to be effective against air targets. I mean, sorry, ground targets. Actually, frankly, it would. It, it could probably could just sit it off at a distance and it'll should outshell these things because they're all using like rifles. Should not be as effective. Okay, this is lightning. Great. Get over here in a hurry. And hopefully beat this thing before we get struck by lightning too many times. I wonder if lightning is dependent on how high you are. Just showing our ladder, healing us. Okay, did we take any damage? I can't tell. Was there supposed to be a, a grenadier up here? Can I, um, let's open this design real fast. Open the grenadier. Okay, there's supposed to be two blank spaces here with gren 
grenades and then one two three four five i don't think that that's what this thing has it has yeah it's missing grenadier uh grenadier on the top so you actually have to be healed well before you do that go ahead and make your way over there and conquer another thing we need the money <laughs> okay, we have two people coming in to attack our places this one's going to arctum well, poor arctum it's just a totally defenseless then we have one going to Marshville, which is not, hopefully, totally defenseless because, yeah. Yeah, I'll take the seven money. <laughs> That's how pathetic that little place is. And that one's intentionally defenseless. We're very, uh, we're limiting our defenses. Let's get another one in Tortuga, which is, I would say, a high priority for staying alive. When things start going well, I really should replace these um, with other things. Those stupid towers. In the meantime, three is the minimum for anything I want to keep. Aha. Uh -huh. Can't afford it. Great. Okay, you're the only one who's moving right now. All right. So the same tower, hopefully the same effect. We are missing one grenade, but uh, what is this? Left to right or less accurate. Okay, well then we just do this the other way. I'm gonna let you move, but basically okay, so you're gonna move beyond. It looks slightly better to go fight this thing from the rear anyway. Looks like it only has one gun versus, uh, four versus six. So we should have been doing this from the beginning, basically. Is this the truth? It looks like... Yeah. Oh, these are rifles. We need a lower. Get down! Hopefully you can nullify some of their ability to shoot. Oh man, it's brutal. I This thing, if it was stone, I just imagine. I have to imagine it would do a lot better. Victory! Hooray! So every time something is about to let's pause. Every time something is about to get raided, let me just make sure that the target of its raid is Yeah, like not does not have anything we can sell. Okay. Actually we need you to go up to Squamos then. Invade Squamos. Or Heptopolis as well. Well, let's hit Heptopolis on our way up there. We could get Black Spire. Black. Was that Black Spire? If we had the ability, we don't. You're almost there, and nobody's contesting you. So, and we're just about to have propulsion, which is kind of nice. What the heck? Uh oh. Okay, so they are going after. This is one of my prized possessions. I. This is. Now they're starting to get really personal. And honestly, what am I doing? I should be building a second ship here. I can't yet. Maybe I should build a bombardier. Start getting going with those. So they have four? I think we can defeat this. I think we can defeat it. That thing's gone. Being nice enough to give my all my stuff something to do that. Yeah, I think we're gonna win. Ouch. I think that can be prevented with stress, but it just target this thing now. Kill it. Yeah, I think we won. Hooray, this is a huge blow to them. They're not going to have any of this fleet anymore. I'm probably going to have to do some repairs, but overall, much, much better for me. I'm surprised they haven't lost yet. What, is, what do they have left? 
this is considered? Ah, we did it! They all survived, and the rest surrendered. Okay, great. We were victorious! Okay, let's go to Old Coma, the victorious... Wait, how are they getting anything out of there? Repair! 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 Good! Ah, we're attacking something. Good! Ah, maybe we might be turning a corner here! <laughs> With any luck. Okay, shooting from left to right is less accurate. Good to know. We'll go on the right side, then. This thing is still using muskets. <laughs> Actually don't want it to fly that low. Cause it'll it's stupid. It will hit itself. Alright, and speed up, I think we're gonna be able to take this thing no problem. Do they have muskets or do they have rifles? Yeah they have rifles, so let's go a little bit lower now. Uh, didn't need to micromanage it so much. Alright. So where else do I need to defend? Where are where am I seeking to hold out? Uh Talon? The hell? It was stuck on the ground. <laughs> Let's get to Lawn a third one. I think three is the magic number. Not really, but... Let's get a third one. At, at least for Ulkoma it was, and we took out that, which is a sizable victory. Oddbury. We could probably get a... I mean, now we're starting to turn a corner. We're solidifying our defenses in some places. I think it's helped a lot not being so insane about the research. I would really like to defend Castavich, though. Let's start getting this one defended. I would like to defend it. It, it has an income of 18, so I consider it a good target. Uh, we need to keep invading. We need the money, so we can never stop. <laughs> never stop invading. Let's... Oh, yeah. I forgot we have that one. And we've actually done quite a number on these guys. If we could take no, we could actually eliminate this fort. We really want to start squashing these smaller ones. Okay, propellers are done. What do we need next? I think this uh, tracks is going to be very helpful. It's kind of the style I'm playing already, right? Although pr pressurized suspendium dust tanks would be useful for my bombers. So instead of the dust tanks, we'd have pressurized suspendium dust tanks. They'd just be better. They would not require coal but they would give us more height. So we either basically have a decision between going for more height uh, without power or forgetting height at all and going for just uh, as much, basically as much um, weight as we want because it slows down your speed to put a lot of stuff on tracks, but obviously you don't care about height. Ah, uh, or we go with Imperial Cannons, which just do a lot more damage. Uh, and then maybe eventually we could get the Suspendium Cannon. I mean, there's the sky's limit. I love this. I love the little research tree. You really feel the effect of it. You need to be using You cannot just sit on your hands like I prefer to do in most games until you get to a certain tech. You have to be using whatever you have at the given moment. Okay, I am going to go with... what? What is better for us long term? I don't think we'll go beyond these two for a while. Large suspendium changers are useful. More useful, I would say, than either legs or gatling guns. Actually, legs are more useful than... No, spider legs is more useful. Legs are not useful. That's right. So legs is not that useful. Kind of weird. Why, if this goes to spider legs, why does heavy cannon go down to heavy steel? Why not just put heavy steel here? Not really sure. Okay, let's... This is going to improve a lot of our existing fleet. What do I need more? These are going to be better siege weapons, I think. 
No, actually these are going to be better siege weapons because of the bombers. But what do I need to take down? Yeah, yeah, yeah we have to do this. We're doing this. Because that's going to improve our ability to fight. Just in general. Okay, our first one is here. He's ready to go. Should we put him up against something? I mean, this can be part of an invasion group now. It's like the long-range artillery. Which is something that obviously we've lacked a great deal of. And Okut is just killing it with its income. Oh, that's right, because it's in the pillaging phase. Ah, so that's going to drop down, unfortunately. I want to build another one there, but it doesn't make sense to build when we're already uh, building. You're repairing, which is fine. You are building that. Look at our beautiful ship. I love it. I want to get it into action. Where should we take it? Against the Black Spire? Well, I honestly want to build more than one of them. Oh, this is actually good. I want to go into defenses. Let's see, what's its height? Okay, its height is here. Let me put that in perspective of, like, my... Because these towers do not... I mean, these cannons don't have a very big firing arc. So... It probably could use the extra height. I'm not going to actually refit it, but I'm just trying to think how we do that. By, what, putting steel wall... That didn't have that big of a difference, right? 107, 114, not really. Yeah, I don't know. It it could be outranged. I mean, out heighted. <laughs> so it might end up being a much better siege weapon. Because I saw these units were really flying high. So, okay. Let's not build more of those. Let's build the bombardiers. Wait, 220. Maybe it's not even high enough. Let's build at least... Okay. You can see I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Fog? Fog. Oh! There's two! Ooh. Well. How do we do this? I think if we go like this and go low, some of the rifles back here won't be able to fire, so we should approach it from the back. Okay. Let's do this. Two of them, and that's going to be a challenge, I think. Uh-oh. We're on fire. Uh, that's, that's not good. really not good. We're going to flee. <laughs> Which puts out our fire, by the way. Um, move you... Oh! You can move here and heal. We, I forgot we have Oddberry as a second shipyard. I have not been treating it as such. Should have just flown there and healed to begin with. Silly. Alright, now where are you going? Okay, Zerniga, uh, that's just all expected. We were just raiding those lands. We didn't expect them to survive. Uh... So, actually, let's move here. You're pretty darn slow. I thought you were faster than that. What is your... Okay, so the, the Grenadier is speed of 95. The Cannoneer is speed of 74. Bombardier 64. Wow. So Bombardier is very slow. This one feels a lot slower than this one. Go ahead and repair. Very smart thing, I think, by the way, to not fight with that one. Uh, these things are going to be destroyed anyway. We'll take zero gold. I don't even care. We'll take the one gold. It's worth it. It's one more gold than we were going to have. We're not going to do one gold worth of damage, so. Oh, here we are. Ooh, it's kind of a big thing. Dusk. Hooray, so we're on the correct side. Let's move right on top of it. see we're up against here. That's a lot of guns. In fact, that's enough guns I'm probably going to go on the other side. Oh, shoot. I can't. Because we have the accuracy. So they can actually do some serious damage to me here. I think... I'm starting to figure this game out. Um, I think the bigger your ship is, the more... Uh, it's random. It must be a random roll where they hit you. So there is, like, a benefit to... having a bigger ship, and that the vital points are targeted less often. I assume this is considered a victory. Okay. 
<laughs> just waiting. I'm lost. What's the overall map look like? Okay, so we're not doing bad. I mean, look at it if you, from like an area standpoint. Damn these people, confusing everyone, including me. Um, I think we can do this this time. Let's go ahead and invade. Let's go for it. We already did some damage, in theory, maybe. It's probably been repaired, but... Okay, uncontested defeat. That's fine. Let's try this again. Oh, it's this crap. That's right. That's why I wanted it to... The dusk? Oh, okay. Forget that. We're just going to move you very close. Get some damage done. One at a time here. You're not moving. Thank you. Just sit there and take shots. That's what I meant. Wow, well, that one looks like it's going to be better now. And we haven't lost anything yet. Somehow. Great! We did it! Let's invade the next one. Actually, let's go back here and make sure you're not damaged because we're about to combine the fleets for the first time. Get the new one in there. Uh, we want to move and invade other things. Let's go to Arctum. Who is even defending Arctum? It's going to take me forever to... <laughs> I think they're moving to defend it. Yeah, they are. So let's just move here. Um, you guys are combined? You are. Let's invade! Hooray! Let's pretend we're moving there. So they don't send a reaction force. Oh, Blackspire is open too. Okay, we have enough money. Do we get a second one of these? Let's see how they perform in combat first. And then... Honestly, I think with the money we still build defenses. We saw that three is the magic number. So we, let's just get three of these. Close by. And hope that that holds. That's three. What the hell is this? Oh, it is. Okay, repair it. And we'll build another one when that's done. I guess I'll just queue it. <laughs> really? There. Doing work. We're doing it. We're slowly making progress. Why are they all converging there? That's, whoops, went too far. Yeah, we need more offensive forces, though. Oh, this is actually a good one to, yeah, test out this thing. Gonna keep this thing way in the back. Oh, it's a lightning storm. Never mind, we're gonna charge to the front because this thing has no, whatever, ability to. Okay, so start. Target that, you move and flip. So you, hopefully this doesn't attract too much rear fire. Oh, wait, no, 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 we, we can't do that. I'm gonna move that way, but I'm not gonna do that because we're gonna allow rear guns to fire, which aren't currently allowed to fire. They have no target. So we're gonna try to minimize that by doing this instead. Hopefully those rear guns, these might get, might be able to fire. We'll go down as low as we can to prevent that. Yeah, they are not able to fire. Which is good. Might as well move in close because we're not being targeted anyway. Move in. Oh, this one had a bad time today, didn't it? Still got three grenadiers, two grenadiers. Is there a fire or something? Or are they just raping us? Woof!
Do it. Lob your grenade. Of course, the Spendium Chamber goes for toast. Are you not firing? Maybe everybody's dead. I think everyone's dead. Oh, hooray! We did it! Okay, that was a little bit close, though. Let's get those guys back for repairs. We're slowly making ground! Oh, man, it's it's happening. The dream, it's coming true. So, what is our plan right now? I think we build some bombardiers. That's the next step, because I want to start taking the bigger cities. Um, we could take stuff like Blackspire, which we could do even next. Okay, they're going to Lonlin. Which is fine. It doesn't probably even have any defenses. What was this? I don't know, just scrap it for zero gold. Yes, it's even fine that you're scrapping it for zero gold. It's fine. Um, you're getting defenses. Talon was getting defenses. Has three. Fantastic. You're getting a second one. Good. I'm going to hold off on the another one for that. You got to have at least 15 income. Speaking of, 15 income. Okay. All right, I'll defend you. You've made it. You've graduated. I think I'm going to remove a little bit of landscape here, just to get the drop instead. It's going to cost almost the same either way, so I'd rather lower. Good. And, well, that's all I can do for now. Let's build one at a time. Where were you going? Let's pretend that we're moving here. Probably take Squamos back. I mean, can't take Curb, we'll probably need like a full force for taking Curb, or some bombers. But with their force here, what? Can we just invade that? Ah, Subtle Creek. No! I was just about to... to... Okay, it's not going to be built in time. Cancel this. Did we refund our money? I guess so. Alright, well, just go ahead and invade Volt Vale. Well, pretend you're going to uh, invade... Move here. Yeah, and then evade this. Oh, our uncontested victory. Wait, uncontested lo Longland. That's right, that was Longland. You guys repair. We can probably take Black's Fire on our own. Is that? And that's the second to last thing. They don't have a fleet. We're gonna go after that. I want to make a bombardier. We can make a bombardier. Bombardiers are very slow though, so I'm gonna build it down here. Even though that that thing's just repairing, so. Let's test out the bombardier. Woof. Um, pretend to invade this. Take back Subtle Creek. Hooray. Sorry, Subtle Creek. You were just doing you were doing so well. Alright, that's nice. We'll take that. Now pretend you're moving down here and invade Marshville. Or maybe Squamos. Well, oh, they're both ready. Let's go take Black Spire Black Spire. Spetford, 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 where is this? Ah, well, that's a low-income one. <laughs> An uncontested victory. Again, we're just going to start defending with three, all the things we really want to hold. And the rest are just going to have to suffer. Oh my gosh. Suffer, unfortunate. <laughs> the life of being constantly attacked and destroyed and... Wait, what is this? Is this a Mark II? Nine income. Okay, I can I can af I can afford that's actually quite a lot of money. But I can afford a, a repair there, I think. Ah, damn it. Alright, so let's do the same thing. Let's move this. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this the other way around. Move you actually below. Start. You're going to move forward right away. And you're also actually going to move forward right away. Why are you not moving forward? Are they not getting my orders? You're going to take the shots, I think, in the beginning. 
Maybe. No, well, maybe not. Who are they firing at? This feels like so slow. Ah, these guys probably should go with better damage. No, they probably need some explosive damage because they get so close to things. Yeah, so whoever's not getting attacked, keep moving closer. And this way we'll juggle aggro. That is a brutal combination. That is brutal. That is just so effective. Okay, good. So, probably there's been no damage. Move here. That puts you right over Squamos. Fantastic. You guys... We might be able to take this city by ourselves. By the way, who's got... Oh my gosh, we got some income down here. Scrap, whatever it is. No, I don't care about that. And what is this? Is this a... No, Shine Tower. Scrap. We'll take the money. We'll start repairing these things, though. Obviously, we, we should. <laughs> They're actually making money. <laughs> They've survived the war. Okay, but anyways, it's a 41 minute video, so I'm going to call this video to a close here. I'm really enjoying this series so far. Hope you are too. Uh, looking forward to the comments. Uh, so until the next one, thanks for watching and take care.